All right, and we are live. All right, so let me go ahead and do a few shares here. Um, so let me go back to my Facebook page. So thanks for doing this, man. Um, mm -hmm. I know um, it was hard to get a hold of you because you're training and talking to your um, your manager, and uh, he was um, he was trying to work around your your training schedule, and uh, he was like, "You have to get up at four. I'm like, "Oh my gosh, four!" So that's that's harsh. I mean, I, I think I go to bed at like two. <laughs> so when 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 do you go to bed? I usually I go to bed around nine. Oh, okay. Nine to nine. Try yeah. to get at least up seven to eight hours of sleep. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hey. Uh. So we got a few people. Hey. Uh. Those of you guys join. We got uh. Dorn Wu from. Uh, wait. Where you? What city you from? Well, when I'm living um Mansfield, Texas. Okay. But wh where you? Where were you born? Oh, I was born in Laos. Well, that was the last. And then where are your where are your parents living right now? Well, you see my parents they're still living in uh Sheboygan, Wisconsin. All right. So that's hometown, so right? Most my, yeah. Most of my family lives down there. All right. So any Wisconsin people, give him a shout out. Sheboygan right there. Sheboygan. Is that is that where you went to uh high school? Yeah, that's where I went to high school. All right. So uh Sheboygan, Sheboygan people. Uh, let's get let's get a shout out for uh, Dorn Vu. Um, how long were you there for? I was living in Sheboygan for at least, let's say about twenty five years. Ah, uh, that's pretty long, man. So you're that's pretty much that's pretty much your whole life there, yeah. Uh, pretty much. Yeah. So, uh, guys, major special guest today. Let's give him a few likes, a few, you know, give us a shout out where you guys are from. We got a Wisconsin uh, Hmong representative right here from Sheboygan. If you guys in Wisconsin, give us a shout out. Um, uh, Sangos, hey, what, what division are you fighting right now? If you guys have any questions, uh, comment it down. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and ask him these questions. But uh, Sangos, hey, what division are you fighting now? Well, I'm actually fighting at, well, right now I'm fighting a, uh, at 126 featherweight, but I can go down to uh, 122 super, and I could be a junior featherweight or even uh, go back up to 130 as super featherweight. Okay, there you go, saying you there's your first choice. You guys got any questions? Uh, comment. Well, I see that same question again. So when we get done with when we start the show, but uh, yeah, we're here live. You know, he's here to answer, answer any questions. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, Jami. You know, I don't know if you know Jami. Jami says hi. You know, so uh, uh, big fan. Uh, let me go ahead and guys. I'm just sharing this to the other group. So uh, sorry, just give us a few minutes, get some people to come in here. And uh, he's got a big major fight coming up. Uh, love for you guys support him. Um, and there you go, Wisconsin guys. Give him a shout out. All right. Um, I want to post this. I'm going to tag you on there. So, Texas, I mean, is it how hot is it in Texas right now? Get, get as hot as 120 oh. over here. So, 120, man. A R N Warren Boo. There you go. I got you on there. So it says uh, Supreme Boxing. Is that is that your is that your team? Yes, yeah, Supreme Hits. But, uh, oh, okay. Supreme Hits. Yeah. My apologies there. Uh, I read it too fast. Supreme Hit Boxing. Yeah. There we go. And then uh, I do one more share to another group here. Uh, all right. Come on. It's a little bit slow right now. You guys got any questions? We got we got a few people from California saying says I from California. Give him a shout out. Uh, we got Matthew from uh, Minnesota. Where, where do you say Matthew? What's and then we got Sai. Sorry, man, I'm pushing your name uh, from Atlanta, Georgia. There you go. Cool. Uh, 
one more group, guys. One more group. One more group. So, uh, did you? When did you get done training today? Or you just got done? Um, so Sundays are used are days off. Sundays. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, we usually train from Monday to uh, Saturday. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Usually we don't finish training until around eight o'clock, eight or nine. Gotcha. Gotcha. And almost there. Almost there. So give us guys, give him a shout out. Give some thumbs up for uh, uh, Dorn Vu here. Uh, we're going to talk about what he's got coming up. And uh, I've been following this guy for a few years. Love the way you fight, bro. Um, mm, you're a go, you're a go getter. That's what I like, you know, you're a go getter. So we'll talk a little bit more about that. You guys got any questions about how, uh, you know, what he does or any question about what, you know, I don't know. Can you, are you allowed to give any secrets on how you train? Uh, no. Yeah, there you go. See, <laughs> maybe when you retire or something like that, right? <laughs> we'll, we'll see. We'll yeah, see. yeah, yeah. So, but uh, yeah, uh, man, why is it so slow? Uh, so, here we go. Last one here. And we'll get it committed. We got about, you know, 26 people to just join. And majority of the time, you know, we see uh, most of the time people join app and they'll see it afterwards because, you know, we're at nighttime. Majority are, are the viewers are easy. Uh, they see it. And then sometimes people, majority, some, they see it during the daytime as well. Because right now we're in this uh, weird time where it's at nighttime. So, um, yeah, you know, we got a good amount of people here that, if you guys got questions, ask some questions here. Uh, I already got a few questions here, so that's pretty good. Um, you ready? Oh yeah. So let's get let's get this knockout and then uh, knock out, you know, and then he can he can go to bed and he has got to wake up at four o'clock in the morning, guys. So to train. So um, want to welcome you to the show, uh, Duan Vu, right from. Yep. Uh, you're currently in Texas right now, right? To train, oh, yeah. correct? But uh, oh, yeah. but uh, hometown is Sheboygan, Wisconsin, right? Mm -hmm. yep. All right. So any any folks, like I said earlier, any folks from Wisconsin, give him a shout out, Sheboygan, uh, especially. So, um, dude, welcome to the show. I've been a big fan. Uh, I saw you. I saw you fight. Um, I think is doing one of the. Um, when it was broadcast on TV, oh, yeah. um, and I don't know ESPN or something. Uh, I think it was yeah. one before that too. So I'm like, again, yeah. and I caught that one, the second one. I'm like, oh man, dude, you're amazing. The way how you're like, you're going after it. Mm -hmm. So we'll, we'll talk a little bit about it. Uh, you guys got? If you guys just join, uh, Dorn Vu from Wisconsin. All right, uh, ask some questions on boxing. All right, so. How'd you get started, bro? Like in boxing? Um, actually, it was something um I always wanted to try when I was little, and I actually went um I actually went up to uh, went to one of the gym, yeah, and back in Sheboygan, put on um, some gloves and start hitting some bags, and that was when I actually fell in love with it. That's it. You just put gloves on and just like getting dolls, right? And that's it. Yep. You put gloves on and start hitting the bags. Yeah, and I actually fell in love with it right there. And then, like, like, how long did you go before like a fight actually was planned, okay. planned out? Actually, it only took me about I say it was about about three, four months before I had my first uh, amateur fight. Wow, and you had like no experience. Yep, no experience, no nothing. What was was it like? You just fell in love with it. I'm like, all right, I want to go out and just, just box. Or is it because you know, you're like, hey, you know, people think that you're already good already, and they did that. Okay, just go ahead. You know, we, we think you're good already. Well, actually, it was more. Um, I just wanted to prove to the. Uh, I just wanted to prove to everyone, and including myself, that uh, how good I was. Yeah, dude, that's how real. Hey, that's how real, you know, that's courage right there, you know. Uh, that's courage, heart, whatever you call it, you know. 
because you only got a few months of training under your belt and just to oh, go yeah. in and you know you can get hurt or something like that but you weren't scared um dude that's awesome so uh yeah so that's <laughs> i don't know how to i mean you just got in that was it i mean i was expecting you to go to this right. long story like you got beat up or something like that and you know and then you well, were like you know uh man you were like i gotta learn how to fight or something no you were just like i'm just gonna start you know hitting and then that was it so it was like i have nothing out of that you know but that's amazing so you know i'll go to my next question is you know how many how many like i guess what were you guys how you guys call it like professional fights or i mean how, how many have you done already oh uh, professionally i've done about 19 professional fights already uh-huh um and the amateur actually i've done about 50 amateur fights only wow so oh so that's how boxing is you start do you so you start out amateur and then you and then somehow you get to a point when you're like i mean how do you get from amateur to like professional well, for, well, amateur is amateur and professional is their own league. Uh, in the amateur, is more like people, a lot of us try to uh, get to the Olympics or even get the experience, or even like some. They want to. There's some people who actually just want to get to the Golden Gloves. Me, I wanted to uh, become the best and move to uh, the professional. And the professionals, there's not a lot of um, people. Well, there's a lot, but there's not like a certain amount percentage in in the world that became become a world champion. About I say about one percent only. Um, yeah, one, about one percent become fighters, and less than one percent become champions. So. Wow, so you start out, and then you 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 pick. I guess you're saying your league, right? So you're like, yeah. I want to be the best of the best. Is that so? You're saying. Like amateur, like, and professional, which like I'm I'm assuming professional is like the best of the best, right? Oh yeah, yeah. You can't. I mean, what about Olympics? How? What is Olympics rate? Olympics, actually, Olympic is like maybe below it. Professional, maybe. Where? No, actually, I just the Olympic is where a lot of people. A lot of uh, like I said, uh, amateurs and professional is there in their own li uh, league. Mm -hmm. but amateurs, the Olympics is a lot of out of this. Like a lot of people have dream of going to Olympics, and okay. my dream was to become a world champion. Right. So you, you think professional is is higher than Olympics? Oh yeah. Okay. Professionally, to become professional uh, champion, you gotta have that elite thinking. Wow, so you already your mindset was already there. You want to be the best of the best. That uh, that's awesome. And the best of the best is like you said, the top one percent, right? Mm -hmm. So, dude, that's that's amazing. What at, at what age were you when you were thinking like that already? Well, actually, um, see, it was actually when I was in high school. Oh man, dude, that is like that's amazing. So you already thinking like that. You're like, it, we, so, I mean, I, I know this was one of my questions before. I mean, you already, you're kind of already segmented into it. Like, were you watching boxing like in high school already? I actually was watching it way before high school, say middle school, but I really got into it in high school. Is there, was, is there a particular person that you were like, you were like, this is the, I like this guy, you know, that like, I look at Manny Pacquiao. You know, I'm like, that's my guy. Is there a particular guy that you look at? Actually, there, there were two guys. Well, one, the first one I actually uh, did study on was actually Muhammad Ali. And then um, actually, it was actually Roy Jones Jr. that actually got me to uh, actually wanted to come into boxing. And then I started, started to study even Mike Tyson even more. Dude. We have the same guy. We watch the same guys. I mean, I like Muhammad and, uh, you know, Warren Jones. And I like the way how he's, he's like, you know, the way he moves and stuff like that. That's awesome. So do you, I mean, I guess we won't go there. I won't ask you how you do your techniques and stuff like that. But that's awesome. So 
uh, those of you guys who's joined, uh, Dorn Vu from, uh, he's in Texas right now, but um, hometown is Wisconsin, uh, Sheboygan. And uh, uh, if you guys have any questions, comment it down. If you, where are you guys from? Uh, I would love to hear where, where you guys are from. Uh, let me just do a few shout outs here. Um, like I said, uh, we got two from St. Paul and nobody else nobody else will give a shout give us a shout out where you guys are from we got a lot of people all you guys here so i uh, love to hear where you guys are from you got any questions going post we do have a few questions here um uh, but we're here to talk about uh something big that's coming up for uh for uh, doing so um uh let's go let's go back to my questions um and then we'll we'll go toward uh if you guys have any questions uh then we'll ask him along the way so um so I mean, we talked about how you got into boxing, um, but your your nickname is called the Storm, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Why? You know, I know why, but we want you know the guys or people here to know. Well, the name the Storm was actually ah. given to me was actually given to me by uh, the fans. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well. You wouldn't know why, because I actually threw a lot of, in you know, in a lot of my punch, fights, you see me throw a lot of punches, and then um, my coach told me that he loved that name, he, we're going to use it. Yeah. And guys, it's really like a freaking storm, the way how he throws it. I mean, it is amazing the way how it's, it, it, it just flies you know, from all sorts of directions. And, you know, I love it. And that's what caught my attention when I first saw you. I was like, wow, this is, you know, he's not holding back. And he's just he's just tossing those punches. So, um, and that's why I guess they will call you the storm. So uh, there you guys go. You know, that was, uh, that was one of my questions. But uh, I, I don't know people, some people might not know, but that's why they call you the storm. Um, um so, I mean, I'm just curious, like, you know, I, I, from your Facebook profile, and you, know, you talk a lot about your father. Uh, I, I'm just curious, who, who do you look up to, you know, um, these days? Actually, I look up to uh, my parents and actually look up to my coach. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I love it, man. Um, yeah, I, I, and I do see that a lot. Um, that's a lot of respect, you know. Uh, most, most kids, they don't look at their, their parents and you know they don't look at other people a bit you know you can people can just see by you know if you guys aren't subscribed to this guy you know i'll, I'll ask his facebook profile on there you guys can you know add him as a friend um he's a really positive guy um you can just look at his facebook profile you know that you know he's a good guy so for you to say that you know that's awesome you know uh, you care about your parents and you talk a lot about them and then you talk about your mm -hmm. coach which is which is awesome. Um, love it. Love it. Um, um, do you look up to any other fighters other than those those uh, those three, I guess? Ali, Jones, and... Uh, uh, Tyson. Huh? Well, actually, Tyson, but uh, actually, I started uh, after, um, after high school, I started following uh, Manny Pacquiao because I love the way he fight too. Yeah, yeah. That's cool, man. All right. That's cool. So let, let's just do one question here. Uh, let's just do one, one question here. Uh, I think Sang was saying, uh, Sang goes, hey, what, what division are you fighting now? Can you, can you answer that? Oh, yeah. Well, I'm actually, um, I'm actually fighting an event. Uh, my next second fight is actually I'm going to be fighting at 126, mm -hmm. featherweight. But I could actually still move down to 122 and fight at 122 or even go back up to 130 and fight 130. Okay. So uh, the fight that you are coming up now, like in this, the end of the month, it's you're going to be fighting at 126, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. So there you go, Sang. You guys have any questions, go ahead and uh, comment below. Um, have them answer it, you know. Um, love to have some of your questions here. Uh, let's see, let's see, it's saying, oh, so saying did response back. He says, Hey, feather, featherweight, uh, would be perfect for, for you, or junior featherweight is good for you. So, uh, 
I guess he's been following you too, huh? So, uh, but uh, I think Yang Li says, "What weight do you walk around at?" I guess, man, that's we already kind of talked about that, right? So you're you're trying to target one twenty six. Is that correct right now? Okay. All right, yeah. we won't tell you. I guess we won't say how much you weigh right now. So I'm sure you're trying to get there, where you're already there. So, um, but let's go back to the questions. So you guys have any questions? Come and comment below. Uh, we'll have them answer it. So. Um, Man, we're already talking about it. Let's just talk about your fight coming up, right? Oh, okay. Let's just talk about it because I know I'm trying to hold him back. Let's just talk about it. So it's coming up what? Uh, it's coming up. Uh, yep, September uh, 25th. It'll be, um, it'll be live. on a, We'll actually have a live streaming on a Facebook and YouTube. It'll be, uh, it'll be um, $4.99. We haven't posted up the link yet, but we will in a few uh, days. And um, and this is gonna be my uh, fight coming back. This is this is his, his comeback fight, guys. He's been training for what over a year. Oh yeah, yeah. So he's been training for over a year for this uh, for this fight coming up, guys. It's only four ninety nine. Um, I'll post the link. I'll post the link on this uh, on this video uh, once once I get an update from his ma his manager, and then it just you just pay for it, right? You just pay for like four nine nine is nothing. So if right. you guys support this guy, you know he's he's one of our Hmong brothers, um, great guy, great attitude. Um, he's gonna go far. He's already got that vision, you know. He wants to be the top 1%. He's been training for over a year. Love to see you guys support this guy. It's only $4.99. It's like, it's like a Happy Meal at McDonald's. Guys, come on. Help this guy out, you know. Um, so uh, let's see. There's any questions here? Oh, okay. Uh, Paul did say, hey, what age did you start boxing at? I actually uh, started boxing at age uh, 19. That's uh -huh. when I had my uh, first amateur fight. Yeah. Yeah. How did, how did you do? Well, actually, to be honest, I actually lost my first three amateur fight. Yeah. But after my lo first uh, three losses, nobody, I started winning uh, the rest of them. Nobody wanted to be fighting me after that. That's good. So you figured it out. You know, oh, you got your feet wet, and you're like, "Oh man, this is." Once you get that first win, you you start to realize, "Oh, okay, this is easy." You figure, uh, you know, I don't know, does it? When I, I mean, I never fought before, but I I played around the ring. Do they all look the same? Like each ring, each side, you know, to you when you're like oh. going at it. Well, that we I don't usually notice, but actually, uh, some of the rings are actually bigger than others. At least, um. I think uh, you sometimes go by, uh, I think it was 18 by 18 or something well, like that. Some, let's say when you get done with, actually, with, with one round, right? It's like, how do you know where to go back? Is it because you just look for your, that, your coach? You know, because it kind of looks all the same. Uh, you know, usually usually there's one corner is a blue and the other corner is a red oh. corner. <laughs> Oh man, I don't even pay attention to that kind of stuff. Okay, so you know if you're if you're red and you just say, oh, okay, I see the red and you just go there, right? You don't look for your coach mm -hmm. right, or anything like that, huh? So man, we do I, I'm an amateur, you know. I watch boxing, but man, this is I'm embarrassed the way how I just said that, you know. I used to wrestle and I know what you're talking about. You know, there's different colors and oh man, I can't believe I just put myself at there. So oh man, okay, great. So um those of you guys just joined, uh, he's got a fight coming up September 25th, uh, 7 p. It says 7 p.m. Is that Eastern time or is that Pacific time or Central? Yes. Central. Central? Okay. Yeah. All right. So because you're in Texas, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. Central. Yep, it should be uh, Central. Yeah, that's right. And, and you're fighting out of Texas. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you're not going to go, you're not going to fly to another state to fight. And uh, I just want to give them a little promo. Uh, it's, um, 
It's Magic City Rumble Royal. That's the that's the title. Is that the, that's the title? What's that? Yeah, it's Magic City Rumble Royal. Royal. Okay, great. Yeah. And that's is that the gym or is that the what? It, no, that's the uh, that's the name of the um, fight. Okay, so if you yeah, if you if you guys want to see it, subscribe to the event. Type it up in uh, it's in Facebook. Uh, just type it up, Magic City Rumble Royale, and the event will come up. So you can subscribe to that. And if there's any updates, they'll they'll update it there. Um, uh, I'm, I'm thinking the link will be there too. But once I get the link, I'll add it to uh, to this particular video as well. So uh, let's let's go on. So uh, um. So they asked you, what else do you do besides boxing? Well, besides boxing, actually, I, I love fishing. Fishing? Oh. Yeah. Is it because it's just calm, or is it any particular fish you like to fish for? Or? Well, it's calm, and actually, my um, favorite fish that I love to fish for is actually uh, salmon. Salmon? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think I did see, when, I think when you... Uh, your last fight, I think you you went fishing for a few uh, a few days off, right? After that. Oh yeah. Yeah. So I think I I think you're right there. Um, uh, Cobb says, "Do you train others fighting, or possibly think about doing it in the future?" Yeah. Do you train other other uh, other folks, or is it just right now you just want to be like number one? When I'm just focusing on myself training. Uh... Just training myself with my. Uh, in the future, we'll see. Yeah, so uh, he's saying the future, guys. So if you guys ever want to train or uh, sign up under him, might be a possibility, you know. So uh, let's go to. Uh, there's a few questions here. You guys, got any questions? Go ahead and comment below. Uh, we do have um, a Wisconsin. You know, guess here. So, if you guys from Wisconsin, let us know because we got Vam. He said he's from Santa Ana. So, we'll give you guys a shout out here. So, oh man, I don't know how you, this guy's asking you, like, how many girls have broken your heart to motivate you? <laughs> you want to skip that one? <laughs> none, none. None, huh? All right, okay, we'll skip that. Uh, yeah, he did answer that, so I'll, I'll let him, you know, go for that. Okay, let me see this. I, I got to read some of these before I even comment them or make it show them. Okay, so um, there was a question here about, you know, fees and stuff like that. Um, uh, that's one thing, that because this show is about money, right? We're, we're home hustlers, so we want to know, you know, we talk about careers and stuff like that. So we're just curious, like, you know, like I know each fight's different. There's probably like a prize, you know, for each particular fight, you know? So we just want to know, like, uh, let's just talk about this next fight. Uh, are you, are you allowed to say like how much you'll get like a percentage out of this uh, at all? Well, well, my manager, uh, my manager actually hand, handles all that. So, yeah. So, you, so you don't know, right? Yeah, just, I do know too, actually. Uh, just give us a percentage. Like, do you? Is there a percent percentage? Uh, no. Oh, you can't say, huh? No. Okay. Yeah. That, okay. I get it. No, well, I get it. I get want, it. Well, well, do you want my manager to answer? Yeah, we love you. Yeah, we we're just curious. Okay. So. How you doing, buddy? I'm good. We're a money hey, show, so we love to know, like, if, if well, my job is to get Dorn the, the highest pay possible. He's yeah. a professional, so he gets paid. This is his job. He gets paid per contract. So each fight is a contract and contracted for different amounts, and it's my job to get him as much money as I can. Yeah. So is there is there if you can is there a percentage or you, you won't even oh. say. It's a flat rate. Let me give an example. Yeah. If I say, if you want, you call me for during a fight, and I'll say, well, give me 70000 give me 100000 give me a million. It's my yeah. job to get them as much as I can. <laughs> gotcha. All right. Mm -hmm. I get it. 
<laughs> so there you guys go. It, it is hard. I mean, uh, what about sponsors? Is it? Do you guys look for sponsors? Yes, we're still looking for sponsors. So if there's any company out there that want Darren Vu to represent their company and he's a great spot, you know, spokesman for your company, contact me and we'll make it happen. So how would you like, so I'm trying to help you guys. Well, you know, uh, Dorn, Dorn out, right? So what, what would like, if, if I wanted to sponsor, like, for example, like Mom Hustler wants to sponsor uh, him, would you put like my company on his shirt or something like that? You know, cause we see that on boxers and stuff like that, or how, how yeah. would that work? Well, for, for example, there's different ways to sponsor Dorn. Uh, one, you know, you can have your logo on his, on his shirt or his trunks. Like there's a couple sponsors for, for this fight coming up and you're going to see their logos on his trunk on this fight. Um, then there's another way we have one sponsor, uh, a, a certain water company and he was their spokesman. He did a commercial for them and brought in a lot of sales for them. So there's different ways and we'll work that out together. Awesome. So, so if anybody wants who wants to sponsor uh, Dorn here, who, how do we get a hold of you? Is it just message you on Facebook, or do you have a website? Or you can message me on Facebook or contact me at Supreme Hits Boxing at Yahoo.com. Spelled all the way out: Supreme Hits Boxing at Yahoo.com. Or message me on Facebook. That's Marid Azam Muhammad, and we'll and we'll, I'll get in touch with you. I'll respond back. That's awesome. So I mean, we want to, we want to help him out. Let's just say, let's just get throw some numbers on it. If I want to put my company on his boxer, what would what would you give me a number? Uh, I can't give you the number on public. Everybody's different. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Because hey, because you he might get number with the other guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I give you a number, then Pepsi or uh, Mercedes will say, "Hey, you gave this guy this number. Why can't we have that?" That's right. So okay, great. So I won't. I won't hold you guys to it anymore, but there you guys go. If you guys want to sponsor, you know, um, my home brother right here, uh, hope you guys do. Um, uh, is, how about a donation? You guys do any donations? Yeah, it's yeah. always donations help because our training expenses are very, very high and we have to pay for those. So whatever yeah. we make in the fight, we still got to subtract out our training expenses. Gotcha. So, I mean, like, like for this particular fight, how long has training been going? For this particular fight, we locked in probably the last eight weeks. Wow. Yes. Yeah. I mean, we stay in shape, but then when we know we have an opponent, then we lock in and we look at our opponent, we study him, we look for his weaknesses, his strengths, and we lock in for eight weeks on that particular guy. Gotcha. So, all right. So, I won't ask you any insider info anymore. But uh, that's great info. Uh, like, so I'm just saying, hey, uh, let's support this mom brother. Uh, if if you guys uh, want to sponsor him, uh, reach out to his manager. I'll take I'll take your info. I'll put it in the in the the video comment. And uh, let's ma let's make this guy go big, man. Uh, I I like your mentality and uh, um, your your motivation there. Um, let's just we did have a few more questions here, so let me go ahead and uh, let's go through them all here. Uh, Lee goes, hey, want to be a, see a big smile for your – let's do a big smile. What I, <laughs> did I, read I, can, I can't read this right because every time I click on it, it hides it. it, it let's see a big smile from my Sheboygan. Okay, they're asking for a big smile. He's been smiling, guys. Come on. How about thumbs up? Give him a few thumbs up, guys, uh, if you guys want to share this. Uh, love for you guys to share it. If you can share this, let's spread the word that he's got a fight coming up uh, September 25th. Uh, 7 p.m. Uh, Central Time, and it's five bucks. You know, guys, help this guy out. Five bucks, watch him fight. It's amazing. Uh, you're not gonna be disappointed. I saw it. Uh, tough guy right here. Uh, let's see here. Let's see, everyone. Uh, let me just go through here. And, uh, Let's see, Poku says hello from Oshkosh. So we got here's your here's your Wisconsin friends, you know. Uh, Bam says from Wisconsin. Um, is it Poku or Poku B says did you lose weight? 
Did you did you lose weight recently? Or I guess that's just one of the questions. I guess they've been checking you out or something. I don't know. <laughs> well, they probably remember me back from uh back from before I met my coach. Yeah. Yeah, I was actually walking around 181 pounds. Yeah. Yeah, now you're like slim and I seen I seen the recent picture of uh his promo. I don't know if you guys seen the promo, but uh, I'll post the promo too, man. You're you're like cut, you know. So uh, uh, kudos to you. That's that takes uh, dedication there. Uh, one here, bam. Okay, so a bunch of these have uh, a lot about uh, how much and this and this. We already kind of went through it. Uh, each fight's different, um, but um, you guys kind of get an idea. Uh, but uh, as we go back, you know, love. For, you know they are looking for sponsors uh, and they just looking for support you know let's let's bring this brother up uh, let's let's have him uh, uh, let's get some views um, going there's only five bucks for this uh, this live his fight is coming up you know September 25th um, any other questions guys uh, if you do go ahead and comment below let me go ahead and put my banner back up here um, so one of the questions I had was, you know, I'm curious, like, what are your goals with boxing? I mean, you already say you're going to, you want to be the the best, but like, maybe like, uh, is that right? Be the best, right? You want to be like ranked. What is it? I mean, is it like. Actually, I actually wanted to be um, multiple um, champion, multiple weight classes. All right. Give, give us the weight classes. Let's, let's, uh, let's see what you got. Uh, what, what weight class? Well, I want to be a champion featherweight, also junior featherweight, super featherweight, and maybe eventually lightweight. All right, that's cool. That's like one, two, three, four. So kick ass, man. This this guy is love your mentality, bro. Uh one, two, three, four. And which one are we fighting? The 126 is what? Which? which That'd class? be a featherweight. Featherweight. Okay, cool. All right. So, uh, yeah, that was, and, and what What about after? Let's say you get these, you know? Like, do, is there an age that you stop? Or is there, like, is there an age that you have, like, I want to stop at this particular age? Or just, like, uh, what do you have in mind afterwards? Well, well for me to stop using uh, my coach my coach is going to be telling my trainer is going to be telling me when uh it's time to stop he he'll know usually us friday we don't we don't like to quit so yeah so you don't want to think about that right because you've thought you start thinking about that then that that holds you back so I, I know exactly what they're what they're doing there so you you're all you do is you're aiming for whatever you're you're shooting for right now you know mm -hmm. So I think I, I think I understand. I'm not a coach, but I think I think that's what they're trying to say is we're not even there yet. So uh, keep aiming for uh, that win every time. Um, man. Uh, so um, we're getting we are getting close to the hour here. Uh, let's see, you guys have any questions? Uh, oh, so Cab, this say um, this one question here, like. Do you have a certain type of music that you listen to when you train? Like, do you do like the Ida Tiger stuff, or you know? Oh uh, no, you all. Well, the music that I listen to during training are usually a uh, Tupac and uh, Wu Tang Clan. Yeah, yeah. Do you? Well, music to relax. I usually I do listen to Hmong music just to relax. Gotcha, man. You still got the Hmong roots in him, man. That's awesome. Well, I had a tiger. Is that is that like people just is that just the movie thing? Do you listen to I had a tiger? Does that get you going? <laughs> no. No. No, it doesn't. <laughs> the Rocky stuff? Do you do you, is that the Rocky stuff? That's does that get you going? Uh no. Well, I, I love I love the Rocky movie and stuff, but it's still unreal, unrealistic. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. All right. So uh Tommy goes, how has this pandemic affected your career? Has it? Well, well we we'll just have, um, we we'll just have, uh, just postpone, um, 
my uh, fight that I was supposed yeah. to have uh, back in uh, was in April. That was it. But anyway, it did help me um, help me prepare myself even more for this next fight coming Got up. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like with any any sort of businesses too. I mean, I guess boxing is a business for your that it is your business. Just like with any other business, it's slowing other businesses down. So, uh, you're right. Uh, Angela says hi. She's from California. Uh, Timmy goes, do you do any lifting weights for boxing training? Oh yeah, we do it sometime. Uh, we yeah. don't want to do it too much because we don't want to. Uh, like uh, slow ourselves down, and, and there's there's a certain way we lift. So, gotcha, gotcha. And uh, you know, I I I know we want to keep this short. I, I did kind of drag this show kind of too long. I'm looking at the time. I'm like, oh man, I know you have to wake up at four o'clock in the morning. Um, just well, we can still do about ten more minutes. Ten more minutes. Two more questions for me. All right. So, uh, how do people get a hold of you? How do people follow you? And I know I mentioned your Facebook. I'll put your Facebook in there. Is there any other website that you do people follow you through? Well, they can they can follow me on Instagram at uh, Dawn V. No, at Dawn the Storm V. All right. And then on Instagram or also on um, Dawn the Storm V on Twitter. What is it? Uh, Dawn the Storm V on Twitter. On Twitter? Okay. Yeah. And, and... I also have a fan page, uh, Dawn the Storm V on a, a fan page on Facebook. All right. Which one are you most active on? Uh, actually, I'm most active on uh, the Instagram and the uh, Facebook page. Okay. So, yeah. So, you guys subscribe to all the stuff there on, on what he mentioned there to follow him on his journey to be number one. You know, and, you know, I got a lot of confidence in you uh, getting there. Um, last question that we asked all our, all our special guests. And I didn't put that in there, um, but uh, I don't know if you've been watching our show, but we usually ask about, it's, it's about money. We usually go, you know, if I was to give you, if I was to give you, or if somebody was to give you a billion dollars, what's the first two things you would do with it? I would actually um, want to uh, help the community, the Hmong community. Actually, yeah. not just the Hmong community. First, I want to help. I, actually, I do want to first help the Hmong community uh, with it, and then help all the community. All right. So let's just say that's one, right? What's your number two thing that you'll do with that money? Mm-hmm. A lot of love, man. That's a lot of love right there. You're, you're all you thought about was just helping the community. And this is how, guys, this is how we, we find out what kind of person that person is. It's just by asking that question. And, you know, you already said two things. You're helping the Hmong community, which is, you know, family pretty much. And Hmong people is kind of family if you, if you ask around. We're all family in one way or another, even though we have different last names. You know, mm-hmm. if we ask around, your mother might be my, my aunt somewhere. So uh, a lot of love there. And then you say you're going to help other people. But what about you, man? That second, that second thing. What would you do with well, a billion dollars? Well, I buy a home for my parents. There you go. There you guys go. The end of the show. This guy has a lot of love for the Hmong community. Loves his parents um, and wants to be number one. So, um, thanks to you guys for joining the show, dude. Thank you for joining. So a uh, lot of luck uh, to you. We got um, you fighting on September 25th at 7 p.m. Central Time. We're going to post the link for his fight uh, here. Uh, and I'm sure you'll share on your you know, Facebook too. So you guys like his Facebook profile, follow him. This guy is going to be amazing. The way... I've been watching him throughout the, the years. He's he's amazing. Uh, thank you for running. Thank you for coming on the show, bro. Thank you. Oh, wait, one more thing too. Yeah. For the money, I'll buy my coach a Porsche. <laughs> <laughs> we got on video, bro. We got on video. <laughs> All right. So uh, um, that's it, man. Hey, appreciate you coming and uh, 
um good luck on the fight and then uh we'll follow you i'll definitely be watching as well rooting for you on and uh anybody else any questions subscribe to his facebook you know follow him on instagram follow him on twitter or facebook and then uh we'll watch his fight on the 25th and let's uh let's uh let's support this mom brother here um uh, five bucks guys five bucks so um good luck to you bro all right thank you so everybody else keep hustling have a good night all right so let me kill this feed. And we are...